Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about uh, X509 certificate format. In our last class, we clearly discussed about a uh, digital certificate. So, what's the use of the digital certificate? These things discussed in our last class. In order to provide the digital certificate, everyone should follow a standard format. That standard format is provided in X509 certificate format. Everyone should follow the standards. So what's inside this? Let's try to understand step by step. It's very, very easy class to understand. So first thing is version number. Means digital certificate, X509 certificate version number. Which version it is going to use? Version 1, version 2, version 3 like that. Uh, certificate format versions. Second thing is serial number. Each digital certificate is provided with a sequence number that we call it as serial number. That serial number should be provided next. Next thing is a signature algorithm ID. The entire digital certificate information is going to be, we, have, we are going to apply a signature on that. So which algorithm we are going to use? signature algorithm we are using which algorithm we are going to use there are multiple algorithms are there rsa digital signature algorithm or uh, elliptic curve signature algorithm like that so we have to provide that id which algorithm it has been using this in order to do the signature similarly next one is issuer name who is issuing this certificate in our example, in our last class, we discussed one of the example who provide digital certificates are GoDaddy. So issuer name, GoDaddy is the issuer name. Similarly, next one is each certificate is going to have a validity period, means the starting date and the ending date, that validity period has to be provided here. Next. Next one is subject name. Who wants this certificate? Means learningmonkey.in if i want a digital certificate i go to godaddy godaddy is the issuer name here subject name means learningmonkey.in is the subject name similarly subject public key whatever the public key i want to share that public key has to be mentioned next so up to here these are the mandatory fields next one are optional fields issuer unique id each issuer means GoDaddy is having a unique identification number. See, these are optional fields. GoDaddy, the issuer name is okay. That's enough. In order to provide extra security and sometimes issuers are going to use the same domain name for multiple purpose. In that situations, we are going to use issuer unique ID. And subject unique ID, learningmonkey.in, that is enough. But sometimes we need unique ideas also provided. Similarly, extensions field. Extensions means any, any information, other information which we want to share, that uh, information should be provided in the extensions field. This is the sequence we have to follow in the X509 certificate format. The entire information, whatever the information provided here, this information is going to send into a hash algorithm. And with this hash algorithm, it is going to provide a digest. Hash algorithm is going to provide a digest. Hoping that you already know what hash algorithm means, what is meant by digest. Digest is used to provide integrity. On this digest, apply the signature algorithm using certificate authority private key. The signature algorithm is going to means on the digest, we are applying signed digest. We call it a signed digest. This signed digest is going to be stored here. Again, along with this information, hash algorithm ID is also provided. Hash algorithm, which hash algorithm we are going to use? That hash algorithm ID and signed digest. This entire data we call it as digital certificate, public key digital certificate. So this is the format for the digital certificates. Hope you understand what's X509 certificate format. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.